Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this module, we shall learn what is a computer model and what are its types. A computer model is a template or a blueprint on which a computer program runs. It needs well-defined inputs, expected outputs and the behavior which is going to translate the inputs to the outputs. The model could be defined merely as a description, either in words or illustratively. Different analytical tools could be incorporated which define the model. Mathematical notations could formally represent a model. And finally, pseudocode or flowchart kind of algorithmic representation of the model could be done. The computer models which form the basis for computer simulation to work, different types have been identified. There is a classification on the basis of stochastic versus deterministic computer models, continuous versus discrete, steady state versus dynamic. Similarly, the models could be categorized as either local models or distributed models, linear models or non-linear models, and finally, open or closed models. Stochastic and dis uh, deterministic models differ in the way these two behave with regards to the expected output. Deterministic models, as the name apply, uh, identifies determinism, have no randomness. Given an input, it would yield the same output. It can be defined as a state machine. It is the most common type of computer model used. Stochastic models do not have singular input-output mapping. It can demonstrate an unpredictable execution. Stochastic models are associated with randomness or to be more precise, pseudo-randomness using pseudo-random number generators. Stochastic modeling is not widely deployed because of the complexity. If we look at a comparison on the basis of continuum or discreteness, we have continuous models in which the state variables can assume any continuous value. In discrete models, the state variables only assume discrete values in discrete states. Within discrete models, we can have continuous or discrete time models. In computer simulations, Discrete computer models necessitate clocks and timers. And, dear students, we are well familiar with the availability of clocks and timers in computer hardware and software. Another classification exists on the basis of the dynamic or steady state behavior of the systems. If the model represents the input-output relationship in equilibrium, it is the steady-state model. It is simpler to realize. But on the contrary, dynamic models integrate internal changes of the system with the inputs. Consequently, dynamic systems represent more complex kind of modeling. Local 
or distributed models are based on the way simulations are planned to be performed. The distributed models require multiple computing platforms and need networking to connect these platforms. It needs synchronization between the distributed systems and since the real world is a highly distributed environment, so distributed models are closer to emulate the real world. The local models just require single machine. These are simpler to implement, but of course there is a trade-off. Linear or non-linear models is yet another way of looking at the mo computer models. As the name suggests, if the inputs have a consequent linear effect on the outputs, it's a linear model. A linear model is simpler to implement. It does not need complexity on the simulation end. Non-linear models require complex functions. These are difficult to implement. And finally, we have open or closed models. The open computer models define and require external inputs. A closed model is the one that does not take external inputs. An example of a closed model is an automatic system or we say the automated system. With an understanding of these basic types of computer models, it is appropriate to mention that these models are not defined in isolation to each other. There is a way of supramodeling in which variants of these models are integrated together to realize an approximation to the real world. As an example, you are shown three different kinds of models, stochastic versus deterministic, continuous versus discrete, linear versus nonlinear. If we denote them as A, B, and C respectively, A denotes stochastic model, A complement denotes deterministic model, likewise B denotes continuous model, B complement denotes discrete model, C denotes linear model, and C complement denotes nonlinear model. If we were to combine the variants of these models together, we would look at, as an example, say A plus B complement plus C, that is, a model which is stochastic in nature, it takes discrete values and it is linear. Similarly, another supramodel, A complement plus C complement means that it is a deterministic model that has non-linear behavior. 